When you think of red garnets, you probably think of those darkish, kind of brownish, very small red stones that you often see in mass market jewelry, and they often feel a bit unremarkable. However, there is just so much more to know about garnets, and they're actually one of the most complex jewels in gemology. In fact, when you're studying gemology, red garnets and garnets in particular are one of the most difficult to identify. And one of the reasons why is that garnet is an entire group of minerals, not just a variety or a species. And there's a variety of very complex chemical compositions that they have with a lot of overlap. So with red garnets in particular, there are so many different kinds, so many Many different varieties they all look the same and it can be very difficult to tell them apart because garnets do have so many different chemical compositions they do come in such a wide variety of colors a lot of people don't realize that so for example for green garnets you can watch our video comparing savorite and demon toy green garnets some of the most valuable gems on the market today garnets are actually one of very few minerals that are actually singly refractive just like diamond and spinel so this actually gives them a great opportunity to be very sparkly and very brilliant and light reflective and also very similar to tourmaline, which is an en another entire group of minerals. They're also available in very beautiful saturations, so they don't always come in those dark tones. They can be very vibrant, very colorful looking, and they're also available in very high clarity and large carrot sizes. Of course, now we probably know garnet best as being the birthstone for January, but the other cool thing about red garnets in particular is that they're one of the most historical gemstones. They were treasured by the ancient Egyptians, which of course is one of the oldest civilizations on earth that date back to 4000 BC all the way up through the Romans in the Middle Ages and red garnets were very popular during those times as well Victorian times they're one of those gemstones that have been treasured by almost nearly every era so when it comes to red garnets, we are usually talking about one of two different species, either almondine or pyrope garnet. Almondine is probably the most common. It's been found on almost every continent on earth. And right now you can probably find them most often from Thailand or Myanmar or East Africa. They also are available in those very large carrot sizes. And almondine garnets are the ones that are the things that we're thinking of when we see those dark reddish garnet. They can be extremely dark, very dark, tone to the point where they look almost black which is what made them very popular in Victorian jewelry including mourning jewelry in fact when you see dark red garnets in antique or even vintage jewelry it's very common that they had foil backs to them which kind of helped brighten the appearance of the garnet and gave it more light reflection and when you see a cabochon it's also often hollowed out in the back to again attempt to get more light into the stone and make it look definitely more red than black the second species that we see with red garnet are pyrope red garnet and opposite to almondine these ones are generally found in much smaller tinier crystal sizes and they tend to be more of a fiery red color throughout history they have been found in the czech republic and there is a very small industry that's still going strong there and there have even been pyrope red garnets that have been found in the U.S. And sometimes these are labeled chrome pyrope garnet. And this is because they've been studied to find that the element chromium is actually present in the stone, which exactly is the same element that is giving ruby its red vibrant color. So again, these pyrope red garnets can be very fiery, very, you know, bright, and can sometimes even give ruby a run for its money when they're found in very high qualities. Now, as I mentioned, garnet is a very complex and complicated gemstone. And one example of this is that the third species that we're going to find with garnet is actually just a combination of almondine and pyrope, where the complex structures and chemical compositions of the gemstone are actually overlapping. And as I'm sure you can imagine, because we have both species kind of coming together, the appearance of an almondine pyrope garnet can vary quite widely. Now, the most well-known and highly valued red garnet actually falls into this more complex almondine pyrope species classification and it's called a rhodolite garnet. Rhodolite garnet of course can actually vary quite widely in its color range and saturation and tone but what a lot of people don't realize that in order to be classified with this variety which is rhodolite of the species almondine pyrope garnet it absolutely has to have a purplish tint to its color component. So for example again one of the most highly valued red garnets I would say are a medium to medium dark tone of purplish red 
garnet with beautiful saturation and vibrance and this is the type of stone that's going to have that stunning raspberry red color that's definitely going to look very similar to a rubellite tourmaline for example or even a ruby the benefit of having the rhodolite garnet versus let's say a rubellite tourmaline is that again the rhodolite is going to be singly refractive so you're not going to get the pleochroism that you get with the doubly refractive tourmaline which means when you're looking at it face up depending on how it's cut you can definitely sometimes see those kind of two different colors which at times can compete with each other and some people just really don't want that so with the rhodolite garnet you're going to get that pure reddish color some of the most common sources right now for rhodolite garnet are East Africa as well as Madagascar and Sri Lanka. So in general, when you're shopping for garnet jewelry or loose garnets and you're seeing this very wide price range potentially with very saturated, you know, more appealing purplish red, red, orangish red, pinkish red stones that have that vibrancy and beautiful color versus some of those darker tones of stones that you probably see most often on the market. These are the differences, just so you know, between the species and the entire group of garnet minerals. So it's not necessarily important that you as a consumer or even a jewelry or gem enthusiast, if you're in the market for a very special garnet or just garnet jewelry in particular, you don't need to necessarily worry about what the specific classification of the gemstone is necessarily, if that's not your particular interest. Of course, generally what's most important is that you love the appearance of the gem and have some other important details about the stone or the jewelry from whoever you're buying it from. And I say this because it is such a difficult classification to make that a lot of the garnets on the market are probably haven't even been tested for what specific variety or even species that they are. Even as a gemologist, when I'm doing an identification for a red garnet in particular, I need a lot of different information. I would need to know its specific refractive index and I would also use a spectroscope and it's a very specific tool for garnets that comes in very handy. It gives me a very specific reading on the spectrum of the stone and for garnets in particular because they're just so similar to each other, this is one of the ways we definitely can tell them apart. One yeah. last interesting thing to know about red garnets is that they can be found in two different phenomenons which are very rare but for certain gem collectors they are definitely something that might be on their list and that that is that you can find them in color change varieties as well as star garnets which are very interesting and if you want to learn more about color change minerals in particular you can watch our video on alexandrites and other color change gemstones thank you so much for watching and if you have any other questions about red garnets feel free to put them in the comments below and visit our main page at winstongemsandjewelry.com